Um, good evening, I'm Martha Moore. I am the Senior Director of Educator Effectiveness. Uh, we are part of the Office of Preparation and Performance at the Tennessee Department of Education. I am absolutely thrilled to welcome you to the 2021-22 Excellence, e Excellence in Education Celebration. This is the largest celebration in Tennessee school history tonight. Uh, we have 38 hardworking, passionate, exemplary school leaders, district leaders, and classified staff that we're going to be celebrating tonight as part of the Principal of the Year program, the Supervisor of the Year program, and the Recognizing Inspiring School Employee or RISE program. This is one of the most important events of the year for our pre-K-12 educators. We're excited to take this moment to recognize publicly these fabulous leaders who represent excellence in their profession. To our finalists and honorees, we cannot thank you enough for what you do every single day. Leadership matters, and it matters a lot. Your friends, your leaders, your supporters, your dream makers, your game changers, your guardians for countless students and teachers and people in your district. We thank you tonight, and we give you so many congratulations for being recognized. Before we begin the main part of the program, I'd like to thank some very special supporters of Tennessee Educator and Leader Recognition Programs. Each of Tennessee's recognition programs is made possible by the many champions across the state who volunteer their time to participate in the review process for each award. A special thank you to the following individuals that were listed on the screen for their service as reviewers. If you served as a reviewer for any of our recognition programs this year, please stand up while we uh, Recognize your work. Thank you. We are also honored to have here tonight our Commissioner of Education, Dr. Penny Schwinn, who you'll hear from later in the program, our Chief of the Office of Preparation and Performance, Dr. Rachel Mays, Ms. Beth Brown, the President of the Tennessee Education Association, and Mr. Barry Olhausen, the Assistant Executive Director of the Tennessee Organization of School Superintendents, or TOSS. TOSS is an important partner for Tennessee's recognition programs. We'd like to give a very special thank you to our Commissioner Swin and Dr. Maves for their support for each of these programs. Without their leadership, none of this would be possible. We'd like to thank our state legislators, as the support that you give to educators is truly important and it's truly a community effort. We appreciate everything you do for our profession. Additionally, we'd like to thank the directors of schools and the colleagues that are in attendance for the tremendous professional support you provide for the leaders here this evening. When we asked about their collective success, to a person, our honorees point to you as the why. It's the why for what they do, it's the why for why they're successful. Even more importantly, we'd like to thank and welcome the guests and families of our honorees. Great educators and leaders work long hours outside the classroom and inside the building. We take this moment to honor the families and friends who surround and sustain them every single day. Thank you for your presence here tonight and your unwavering support. Additionally, I'd like to give a few specific thank yous. I'd like to thank Janelle Brown. Without her, this event would not happen. She's one of my team members and colleagues, and I'd like to give her a round of applause for everything that she does. And I'd like to thank the members of my team who literally came from every corner of our state to be here tonight to support this event and support everything that we do. I thank them every day for supporting me from those four corners of the state. They're an amazing team. I couldn't do what I do without them. Love them every day. Now I'm proud to welcome to the podium Commissioner Dr. Penny Schwinn. She was sworn in by Governor Lee as Tennessee's Commissioner of Education in February of 2019. Good evening. It's nice to be here and to actually see so many familiar faces. Um, we just went through all the school visits over the last year and we're talking about the last 18 months in our school system and public schools across the state of Tennessee and just how much 
you all have done to keep education going, and not just education, but high quality education for all of our kids. That we have 38 finalists tonight. I watched all of your videos, and um, I was really impressed and very moved, actually. It took me a while to get through them because there was just so much that you all have done, and that's everything from instructional leadership in buildings and some crazy good results. Um, I know we talk about the challenges of the pandemic and all of the negatives and the consequences, but the people in this room, whether you are the principals or the supervisors, you've accomplished a lot, and not even in the context of a pandemic, just in general. You have moved mountains for kids. My favorite job, and I always say that, and then I look at the governor, I'm like, except this one, but my favorite job was being a principal, <laughs> um, and this one. But really it was being a principal because I got to see my kids and I got to see the impact of teachers in buildings, the impact of bus drivers who start our kids' days and are oftentimes the last faces that we see. And then as supervisors, being able to see the impact of what you do to make sure you've got great principals, make sure you've got great bus drivers and custodial staff and workers across your districts, it's a lot of work. And I think it's the things that we don't talk as much about. So I'm not going to highlight any one person because, again, 38 pretty phenomenal uh, people who are in this room and who we are celebrating tonight. But I do want to say that the things that you all have done every day, the moments that are noticed, but I think much more often the moments that are not noticed, and you all know what that is. It's when it's 9 o'clock at night and you are sitting at your desk or your kitchen table working on a computer, or you're getting to work before the sun gets up because you know there's something that you just have to get done because there's a kid in the back of your mind, or a teacher who needs you, or someone on your team who is struggling. Those are the moments that even if you didn't say it in your videos or your applications, it came through. And what came through is you cared deeply about the students in the state, you cared deeply about your team, and you were willing to do whatever it takes to move things forward. And you know, I always, you know, certainly I'm here as the commissioner, but I'm here as the mom of three young kids. And I've got baby Jack's not in school yet, but he's gonna be in our great public schools. But my two girls who were there, I saw what y'all did. I saw it when I visited your classrooms and your schools. You all have been in there with me, um, but I saw what that meant, and I saw how my girls grew, even with all of the ifs, ands, and buts, and challenges. I saw when one of my girls was really struggling, her teachers, her support staff, her principal, and someone from the district came to help and make sure that she was on track and felt supported and loved as she transitioned to this new year. And I know that that's way above and beyond what you have to do, and I know that that's not just the one experience I have in my home, that's a million kids' experiences. And you all are the best of the best this year. You represent the best of Tennessee and the best of who we are as educators. And I hope that this coming year, as the leaders who represent our great state, what you are able to do is to shine a big positive light on public education, what we do every single day, and how that is moving our state forward. Because I don't think there's anything more important to the state of Tennessee than what we do for our kids. And you all are the best of that. And so thank you very much for everything you do. And I'm excited to celebrate with you tonight. Thank you, Commissioner Swim, for that message. And now it's time to get to the good stuff and recognize our honorees. First, we'll begin by honoring Tennessee's RISE Award State Finalist. The purpose of the Recognizing Inspiring School Employees RISE Award is to recognize and promote the commitment and excellence exhibited by classified school employees who provide exemplary service to students in pre-kindergarten through high school. The U.S. Department of Education invites the governor of each state to nominate up to two classified school employees annually each fall. The Secretary of Education then selects a single classified school employee to receive the RISE Award the following spring. At this time, I would like to invite the state finalists for the RISE Award to come forward as your name is called and to receive your award. After you receive your award, please remain on stage for a picture before returning to your seat. First, let us recognize our 2020 RISE Award State Finalist, Ms. Jennifer Burleson. Ms. Burleson serves as the School Nutrition Director in Bristol City Schools. Ms. Robin Cross. Ms. Cross serves as the Child Nutrition Supervisor in Franklin Special Schools District. We'd like to congratulate our 2020 Tennessee RISE Finalists. Now we'll recognize our 2021 RISE State Finalists. Did we miss our RISE finalist? No, I oh, okay. <laughs> I say, did someone, did we miss someone? Um, now, now we'll recognize our 2021 RISE finalist, Mr. Joshua Heinerman, 
Mr. Heineman serves as Transportation Director in Robertson County Schools. And Mr. Hal Taylor. Mr. Taylor serves as the Director of Operations in Cleveland City Schools. Great picture. <laughs> Congratulations to our Rise winners. At this time, we will now honor our 2020-21 Tennessee Principal and Supervisor of the Year finalist. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we were unable to host an in-person celebration event to recognize these finalists and instead celebrated with each finalist virtually during the Tennessee Principal of the Year live stream event on October 20, 2020. The Tennessee Supervisor of the Year event was live streamed on October 22nd, 2020. Each finalist was invited to host a socially distanced watch party. Please turn your attention to the screen for a look back at our virtual celebrations. Now let's recognize our 2020-21 Tennessee Principal of the Year honorees. From the First Core Region, Dr. Matthew Drennan. Dr. Drennan is the principal of John Hay Elementary in Hamblin County Schools. Dr. Drennan was unable to join us this evening. From the East Core Region, Mr. Marvin Fazell. Mr. Fazell is the principal of Philadelphia Elementary in Loudoun County Schools. Mr. Fazell was unable to join us this evening. From the Southeast Core Region, and the 2020-21 Tennessee Principal of the Year, Dr. Lanita Lang. Dr. Lang is the principal of Cleveland Middle School and Cleveland City Schools.
From the Upper Cumberland Corps region, Ms. Stephanie Barnes. At the time of the award, Ms. Barnes was the principal of the Phoenix School and Cumberland County Schools. She now serves as the Chief Academic Officer for Cumberland County Schools. From the Mid-Cumberland Corps region, the Middle Grand Division Principal of the Year, Mr. Eric Bowman. Mr. Bowman is the principal of T.W. Hunter Middle School in Sumner County Schools. And Mr. Bowman has longer legs than some of us. From the South Central Core region, Dr. Stan Curtis. At the time of the nomination and selection process, Dr. Curtis was the principal of J.E. Woodard Elementary in Murray County Schools. He is now enjoying retirement and was, for some reason, unable to be here tonight. <laughs> From the Northwest Core region, Ms. Gamble Snyder. Ms. Snyder is the principal of Margaret Newton Elementary in the Lake County School System. Ms. Snyder was also unable to be here this evening. From the Southwest Core region, Mr. Steve Zerhelen. Mr. Zerhelen is the principal of the Alternative Learning Center in Tipton County Schools. He was also unable to be here tonight. From the Shelby County and Municipals region, the West Grand Division Principal of the Year, Ms. Jaretha Lockhart. Ms. Lockhart is the principal of Lakeland Elementary and Lakeland Municipal School District. Congratulations once again to our nine 2020-21 Tennessee Principal Year of the Finalists, Principal of the Year finalist, and we'll pause for our picture. And now we'll recognize our 2020-21 Supervisor of the Year honorees. From the first core region, Ms. Mandy Lloyd. Ms. Lloyd serves as the Special Education Supervisor in Hamblin County Schools. Ms. Lloyd was unable to join us this evening. From the east core region, Dr. Keith Wilson. Dr. Wilson serves as the Director of Career and Technical Education for Knox County Schools. He was unable to join us this evening. From the Southeast Core Region, the East Grand Division Supervisor of the Year, Ms. Ruth Ann White. Ms. White serves as the Special Education Supervisor for Bradley County Schools. <laughs> From the Upper Cumberland Core Region, Dr. Rebecca Farley. Dr. Farley serves as both the Supervisor of Instruction for Pre-K-8 and the Pre-K Director for Cumberland County Schools. From the Mid-Cumberland Core Region, the 2020-21 Tennessee Supervisor of the Year, Dr. K. Martin. Dr. Martin serves as the Secondary Education Supervisor in Rutherford County Schools. From the South Central Core Region, Dr. Michael Sharan. Dr. Sharan is the Director of Federal Programs and Instruction in Manchester City Schools and was unable to join us this evening. From the Northwest Core Region, Ms. Brandy Milner. Ms. Milner is the Supervisor of Secondary Instruction for Benton County Schools. Ms. Milner was unable to join us this evening. From the Southwest Core Region, Dr. Jill Faulkner. Dr. Faulkner serves as the Teaching and Learning Supervisor for Chester County Schools and was unable to join us this evening. 
from the Shelby County and Municipals Region and the West Grand Division Supervisor of the Year, Dr. Nancy Kelly. At the time of the award, Dr. Kelly served as the Safe Schools Director for Collierville Schools. Plaque forward. And congratulations once again to our 2020-21 Tennessee Supervisor of the Year finalists. It is now time to recognize the nine finalists for the 2021-22 Tennessee Principal of the Year. As I call the name of each of our finalists, please come forward. After you receive your award, please remain on stage for a picture and presentation of the Grand Division Awards. The 2021-22 finalists for the Tennessee Principal of the Year are, starting with the finalists from the East Grand Division, from the First Corps Region, Dr. Chris Hampton. Dr. Hampton is the principal at Dobbins Bennett High School in Kingsport City Schools. Dr. Hampton's mission is to meet every student where they are and to support them in maximizing their potential for success through high quality learning experiences and relationships. His greatest joy and most significant accomplishments come from when students overcome challenges and excel from beyond what they could have imagined. From the East Core region, Ms. Rayanne Owens. Ms. Owens is the principal at Clinton Middle College and Career Academy in Anderson County Schools. By broadening student awareness of careers while cultivating a culture that focuses on the whole child, she and her staff are gearing students towards success. The Clinton Middle family operates under one conviction. The future of each student is precious and paramount to every decision made. Ms. Owens continues to make those decisions alongside her staff to ensure the success of every student every day. From the Southeast Core region, Ms. Autumn O'Brien. Ms. O'Brien just completed her 12th year as the longest tenured principal of Cleveland High School and Cleveland City Schools. Ms. O'Brien believes that all students deserve the opportunity to learn at the highest level to give them the best opportunity for success after high school. She also strives to show the same love and commitment as her students' caregivers would give them. Her greatest accomplishments are recognized at graduation when the scholarship amount for each class is announced. The class of 2021 broke a school record and was awarded over $8 million in post-secondary scholarships. What an amazing accomplishment. And the finalists for the Middle Grand Division. From the Upper Cumberland Corps Region, Ms. Rebecca Ryan. Ms. Ryan is the principal at Findlay Elementary and White County Schools. Education has always been a priority for Ms. Ryan. Growing up in rural Fentress County, resources were not always ready, readily available. However, her educator parents ensured she and her siblings had access to a quality education along with extracurricular activities. Ms. Ryan's mother taught math and science and instilled in her children a drive to be lifelong learners and leaders. Her parents were her biggest influence for entering the teaching profession. Her love for her students and their continued growth drives her to continue her educational journey. From the Mid-Cumberland Corps region, Ms. Nicole Miller Olswelski. Ms. Olswelski is the principal of Kip Antioch College Prep Middle in Nashville. As principal, she strives to build strong relationships with her students, staff, and the community while fulfilling her mission to provide a top quality education for every child. She is proud that her work allows hundreds of students in Nashville to grow and achieve. From the South Central Core region, Ms. Kelly Myers. Ms. Myers is the principal at Highland Park Elementary and Murray County Schools. 
Ms. Myers has prioritized working with highly diverse, low socioeconomic schools throughout her career and made it her personal mission to help their students and the families to break generational poverty. Under her guidance at Highland Park, the school's culture and climate have flourished while becoming a model of demonstration school gold level for response to instruction and intervention for behavior. Also, her school is a Crayola Create Ed Arts Integration School. From the Northwest Core Region, Mr. Kevin Turner. Mr. Turner is the principal at Dyer, at Dyer School in Gibson County Special School District. Mr. Turner's high school teachers and high school principal inspired him to become a teacher. He had the privilege of starting his teaching career in the school system that he attended as a student and was even mentored by several of his former high school teachers. Being a principal is part of the fabric of Mr. Turner's life. Being a school leader in his hometown is a special calling, allowing him to give back to the community that helped mold him into the person he is today. From the Southwest Core Region, Ms. Shannon Taylor. Ms. Taylor is the principal at Bargerton Elementary in Henderson County Schools. Ms. Taylor loved school from her first day of kindergarten until she graduated high school and that love continued to grow as she entered college and completed her master's degree. Her greatest accomplishments include 12 years of service on the Governor's Advisory Council for the Education of Students with Dis Disabilities and having the largest percentage of students in Tennessee scoring proficient and advanced on the TCAP 8th grade science assessment in her last year in the classroom. From the Shelby County and Municipals region, Mr. Tyler Salyer. Mr. Salyer is the principal of West Collierville Middle and Collierville Schools. As an administrator, he is known for his love of people and his love of education. These passions have led to many honors, including being honored as the 2020 Collierville Man of the Year and presenting on school leadership at Apple headquarters in California. However, his most significant accomplishment is knowing that every child that enters his school will be loved as they grow academically and socially, just as he was by the positive teachers in his life. Congratulations once again to our nine 2021-22 Tennessee Principal of the Year finalists. Three of the nine finalists have been selected to, present, to represent East, West, and Middle Grand Division of our state. Let's find out who they are. The East Tennessee Grand Division Principal of the Year winner is Autumn O'Brien, Cleveland High, Cleveland City Schools. The Middle Tennessee Grand Division Teacher of the Year winner is Ms. Nicole Miller Olswelski, Kip Antioch College Prep, Middle. And the West Tennessee Grand Division Teacher of the Year winner is Shannon Taylor, Henderson County Schools. Each of you exemplifies what it means to be a truly exceptional school leader committed to doing the important work of instructional leadership for your students and your teachers. Congratulations to our Grand Division winners and thank you all for what you do for Tennessee students. You may now be seated. We have come to a very special and most unique point in our program. For the first time in over 10 years, there was a tie at every phase of selection for the top two Principal of the Year candidates. Tonight, not one, but two of the nine finalists will be named the Tennessee 2021-22 Principal of the Year. Let me tell you a little bit more about both of our 2021-22 Tennessee Principals of the Year. 
Both leaders are well known for tireless commitment to building relationships with each and every student staff member in the building. Both of these principles have been essential in growing a culture of student support, high expectations, teacher development, and collaboration at each of their respective schools. Their hard work has paid off as both, both of their schools have been recognized on the state and national levels for their achievements. Each of these leaders was inspired to pursue the education profession by a wealth of teachers who exposed them to a world of hope and possibilities. They have dedicated a combined total of over 30 years service to Tennessee students. Commissioner Schwimm, are you ready to announce our two 2021-22 Principal of the Year winners? I get so excited. Um, so, <clears throat> I am. That's what it says. I am so excited and pleased to announce, <laughs> to announce that our two Tennessee Principals of the Year for 21-22 are Dr. Chris Hampton from Dobbins Bennett High in Kingsport City Schools and Mr. Tyler Salyer from West Collarville Middle in Collarville Schools. Congratulations to Dr. Hampton and Mr. Sawyer. Dr. Hampton, would you like to share a few words after you have your picture made, please? And turn your pack around. <laughs> wow. Um, totally unexpected, uh, and I, I mean that uh, with all sincerity. Uh, the first thing I want to say is, uh, back to all the students and staff at Dobbins Bennett High School, it's an honor to accept this award for you. Um, there are no great leaders or great principals without great faculties and great students. And uh, it is an honor to represent those individuals every day. It's, it's a blessing to get to unlock the doors to change their lives. And so... Um, to them, I say roll tribe. They'll know what I mean. Most of you won't. I also want to take the opportunity to uh, acknowledge uh, the other uh, finalists for last year and this year. Um, but I really want to acknowledge your families. Uh, and, and that was mentioned earlier. But uh, my family's not with me tonight. Uh, we had conflicts and scheduling with school and work and medical. Uh, and at the time, I didn't know there would be a live stream, so they're at home. And, uh, and I want to thank them and honor the loved ones who support all the other finalists because uh, it probably feels like the sacrifices we make are quite often more for other people's families than our own. And, um, and honestly, sometimes that's true. And so I want to thank you and I want to thank my family for understanding that um, this is my mission on domestic soil, and it's an honor to do it, and I thank them for allowing me to do it. Uh, my superintendent's here. He actually drove me here today. So uh, I want to thank Dr. Morehouse. Um, Dobbins Bennett High School has had a, a reputation of excellence for, 100, for 102 years. Uh, so I walk in the shadows of some great educators. Uh, and I try every day just to extend those shadows just a little bit more. Uh, the city of Kingsport is an example of what it means to support public education and to love students. And uh, so to our Board of Education, our Board of Mayor and Aldermen, um, our Mayor, our City Manager, all of whom I have a close working relationship with, thank you for supporting our community. Uh, we've had a great hundred years and only through excellent opportunities for our students will we have an, an excellent hundred more. So um, I have a lot more to say. Let me, let me say one more thing, if you don't mind. I should have gone first. It's kind of like a faculty meeting, except we're not eating snacks out of cellophane wrappers, and uh, no one told me this should have been an email. So uh, it's not quite like a faculty meeting. 
Let me say, I want to um, acknowledge my mother tonight. My mother's living, uh, but she made incredible sacrifices so that one day I would stand at this podium. Uh, on February the 26th, 1974, I came into this world four months shy of her 18th birthday. Single mother, incredible poverty. I was five years old before we lived in a home with an indoor bathroom. But I was loved every day. When I went to school, I knew how to read. I knew what my shapes were. I knew what my colors were. And in 1979, my mother did not have a high school education, but I knew what a college was. So I would be greatly remiss to not acknowledge her. Uh, and, and honestly, my vision for education and my love for students and my hope for the future was instilled by someone who received her GED the same year I received my high school diploma. She beat me by a month. And I'm glad she did. I'm as proud of her today as, as I was then. Uh, so thank you for indulging me while I, while, while I acknowledge her. Um, thank you for the support, uh, Commissioner Schwinn, uh, the other nominees. Uh, it's an honor to represent Tennessee in this, in this role. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Hampton. Mr. Salyer, your turn. <laughs> I get to follow that. Um, I, I'll, my, mar <laughs> my remarks will be much more brief. Um, I'm blessed to be here tonight with my wife and uh, two daughters sitting in the very front row because we got here um, uh, after all the Baptists did. <laughs> some of you get that and some of you won't. Um, I have, a, I have a saying in my office, uh, on my board behind my desk, that just says, make it worth it. Because as educators, we all sacrifice so much. We sacrifice so much time away from our kids, away from our families, and we've got to make it worth it. And we do. We pour into the lives of others, of teachers, of families, of communities, in order to better everyone around us. And so tonight, I thank my best friend, my wife, who without her, I would not be standing up here, um, is my biggest supporter. I thank my family, my friends uh, that are watching online tonight um, for all of your support um, for me to end up in this position in some weird surprise way. Are you sure that's the right name? <laughs> no, sir. Um, uh, thank you. I thank you for the community of Collierville. I thank you, Dr. Lilly, for your support and mentorship and just how much you've meant to me and to my family and to so many other families in Collierville and to so many other people that have poured into my life. I am up here because people have poured into me. All of us are in this profession, in this field, to pour into the lives of others so that other people can achieve their dreams. I thank you all very much um, for the support. I thank you for being here. The rest of the nominees, you are phenomenal, wonderful people that I look up to. Thank you very much. Congratulations again to both of you, and we look forward to working with you throughout the year. Um, there are multitudes of engagements that, that happen as a result of these recognition programs, and uh, these gentlemen will be representing the voice of school leaders throughout the year. It's now time to recognize the nine finalists for the 2021-22 Tennessee Supervisor of the Year. As I call the name of each of our finalists, please come forward. After you receive your award, remain on stage for a picture and presentation of the Grand Division Awards. The 2021-22 finalists for Tennessee Supervisor of the Year are, starting with the East Grand Division. From the First Corps region, Ms. Vicki Johnston. Ms. Johnston is the nursing supervisor for Kingsport City Schools. Ms. Johnson has worked as a registered nurse, administrator in healthcare and education for 44 years. In addition to advocating for students within the district, she has also been an ambassador for students across Tennessee. Her vision for the inception of telemedicine in Tennessee was instrumental in the development of a state telemedicine law. She's also been a successful advocate for the revision of the automated external defibrillator law, providing access to emergency care.
from the East Core region, Ms. Millicent Smith. Ms. Smith is honored to serve as the Supervisor of Instructional Services for Lenore City Schools in her hometown. Her role includes federal programs, district testing coordinator, accountability officer, and all curriculum and instructional leadership support necessary to drive student learning. She is proud of the district and 100% of the schools earned exemplary status in 2019. From the Southeast Core Region, Ms. Sarah Pierce. Ms. Pierce serves as the Supervisor of Instruction for Sequatchie County Schools. Her educational philosophy is based on her uncompromising belief that all students can learn. During her 23-year tenure, Ms. Pierce has approached her leadership roles with enthusiasm and with courage. She's passionate about giving access to all students and can always be seen encouraging her fellow educators and mentoring teachers new to the profession. She's extremely proud to be a product of Tennessee schools and has committed her love to the families in her care. Now for the finalists from the Middle Grand Division. From the Upper Cumberland Core Region, Mr. Brian Coffer. Mr. Coffer serves as the Supervisor of Technology for Cannon County Schools. Mr. Coffer started his career in the engineering field, but after 11 years, he felt like something was missing. Mr. Coffer's late mother, Frances King Coffer, absolutely loved being a teacher and challenging students to excel. Frances King Coffer was a history teacher and a founding faculty member for the first gifted program in Harriman's County Schools. Her example inspired Brian to consider the possibility of utilizing his computer skills in education. Ultimately, he realized that being successful in education meant that he would have an ongoing positive impact on students and teachers throughout their lives and careers. He has dramatically transformed and improved technology programs for two different school systems with a seven-year tenure in his first system and a 17-year tenure with his current school system. We're delighted to have a reformed engineer on our stage. <laughs> From the Mid-Cumberland Core Region, Mr. Scott Langford. Mr. Langford serves as the Assistant Director of Schools for Instruction in Sumner County Schools. Mr. Langford hails from a family of teachers. From an early age, he loved reading, teaching, and the opportunities education affords all students. He entered the teaching profession because he wanted to share what he received from so many great teachers while grow growing up. His greatest accomplishments as a district leader include helping navigate Sumner County Schools' response to COVID-19, implementing a high-quality ELA curriculum, the introduction of a strong foundational literacy cur curriculum, and an increasing number of STEM certified schools while supporting 25 career pathways in CTE. Now recognizing the finalists from the West Grand Division. From the Northwest Core Region, Mr. Roy Henson, Rory Henson. Mr. Henson serves as the high school supervisor and CTE director for Gibson County Special Schools District. He has 12 years of administrative experience at both the school and district levels. Gibson County was recognized in both 2018 and 2019 as an AP honor roll district under his leadership. Mr. Henson is an advocate for public education and the difference it can make in the lives of his students. From the Southwest Core Region, Dr. Charlotte Fisher. Dr. Fisher serves as the Director of Operations for Tipton County Schools. She believes influence is one of the greatest strengths an educator has. Teachers throughout Dr. Fisher's life have had a profound influence on her and impacted her destiny. They were the example of service and what helping others looked like. Throughout her childhood, teachers, and com teachers in, the, in the community were beacons of light and hope. Dr. Fisher strives to be a light by guiding children and empowering educators. And lastly, from the Shelby County and Municipals region, Ms. Zoe Bozeman. Ms. Bozeman serves as the Counseling and Intervention Supervisor in Bartlett City Schools. Serving the whole child is the cornerstone of her practice, particularly in student advocacy and building bridges with caregivers. One of her professional highlights includes the district's alternative school receiving a 2019 honor from the Tennessee Department of Education. The program obtained exemplary status in the Alternative Education Recognition Programs. 
This recognition is most meaningful to her as it exemplifies her commitment to empowering all students, restoring relationships, and building bridges with caregivers. Congratulations once again to our 2021-22 finalists. Three of our nine Supervisor of the Year finalists have been selected to represent the East, Middle, and West Grand Divisions of our state. Let's find out who they are. The East Tennessee Grand Division Supervisor of the Year winner is Millicent Smith, Lenore City Schools. The Middle Tennessee Grand Division winner for Supervisor of the Year is Brian Coffer, Cannon County Schools. And the West Tennessee Grand Division Supervisor of the Year winner is Zoe Bozeman, Bartlett City Schools. Each of you exemplifies what it means to be a truly exceptional leader committed to working on behalf of every child in your district and every educator in your district. We thank each of the Grand Division winners and thank all of you for what you do for Tennessee students. You may now be seated. Continuing with the unprecedented nature of the 2021-22 school year, I'm excited to announce that there also was an extremely close competition for the Supervisor of the Year Award. Therefore, two of the nine finalists will also be named Tennessee's 2021-22 Supervisor of the Year. I am a former cheerleader coach. I am a reformed cheerleading coach. 12 years, I have scored things. We know when there's a tie. Trust me, this was a tight, tight year. Let me tell you a little bit more about both of our 2021-22 Tennessee Supervisors of the Year. Both of these supervisors are known for their dedication to and collaboration, dedication to collaboration and teamwork, as well as their compassion and kindness. Though these supervisors hail from very different teaching backgrounds, both leaders have been state and national advocates for Tennessee's priority of ensuring all students have access to high quality academic programs no matter where they live. Both of these leaders take recruiting talent into the teaching profession very seriously. They are both proud parents to first year teachers. Commissioner Swin, it's your turn. So I'm thrilled to be able to announce um, that our two Tennessee Supervisors of the Year for 21-22 are Mr. Rory Henson from Gibson County Special School District and Mr. Scott Langford from Sumner County Schools. Congratulations to both Mr. Henson and Mr. Langford. Mr. Henson, would you like to share a few words? Well, so there's a lot I want to say and I need to say, so I probably will bungle it. So first of all, thank you to my wife, Angela, who's here with me tonight and uh, echoing some things that were said earlier. Uh, there's been some late nights and uh, some of those were at ball games and you know some of those and proms and all those things but a lot of those other nights were there at the, at the computer working on data and those things that she talked about mr eddie pruitt my director is here and he believed in me uh, this is my seventh year as supervisor he believed in me he believed in me so much that he also asked me to be the cte director too so uh, thank you for that too right now i i enjoy what i do very much and um, i had uh, so another interesting fact is kevin turner that was up here principal of the year. We graduated together in 1991 from Gibson County High School, which is one of our schools, so that's a, a cool thing. I had some great teachers who um, inspired me to go into education. Uh, one of my passwords for, for my bank account is still one of my math teachers. He was a great influence on me. And then 
when I was a teacher, I had, I had administrators that came to my room and said, have you thought about being an administrator? And I thought, no, I always want to, I want to, I always want to teach. And they talked to me about how when you're an administrator, you have, you, you know, in your classroom, you influence a certain number of students, but when you're an administrator, you have a greater impact and you can impact, impact teachers. And I would not be standing here if it wasn't for the great teachers and the great students and the great parents that we have in our district. So I hope I thanked everybody. I'm blown away. Thank you all for your time. Thank you so much, Mr. Henson. Mr. Langford, would you like to share a few words? Kyle, just go ahead and set the timer. <laughs> no, I just want to take a moment, and first off, it's just such an honor. Um, you mentioned my daughter's a first-year teacher. Uh, she and my wife, Jane, and my father-in-law are back there in the back. But uh, my daughter, Amanda, is a fourth-generation Sumner County teacher, and that's probably the biggest honor that I can think of for, for our family. It's just been a, a rich tradition, and Sumner County has given way, way more to us than we've given to it. And I'm, I'm honored to have my director of schools here, Dr. Uh, Phillips, gave me the opportunity to be a principal, assistant principal, principal. Uh, assistant director of instruction chief academic officer and you know he's done so much for Sumner County to move us and none of the stuff that we've done has been able to be done without his leadership so I'm re very thankful for him and you know and he and I would both say that it starts with our team my team is in is in the back row back there and they're absolutely phenomenal and they are the ones that put in so many hours of work to make everything work um, I'm also thankful uh, you know one of our principals was honored uh, Mr. Eric Bowman or Dr. Eric Bowman excuse me I uh, was honored earlier as a last year principal of the year uh, finalist and uh, recipient winner. And, you know, we have great principals, great teachers, as everyone in this room knows, because you have the same thing in your district, too. And I'm deeply thankful for the work that they do. The last couple of years have tested our mettle in public education. And what I'm excited most about for Tennessee is that, you know, the work that we've done with our kids will bear fruit for the next decade or two. And I'm, I'm excited to see the work that we've done across the state. I'm, I'm thankful for all the other finalists that were here. Everyone is deserving and everyone is, uh, I think we've all helped each other at one time or the other. And it's just, uh, it really is a, a, a testimony to the collaboration and work that's taking place across the state in Tennessee. So thank you for this honor. I really appreciate it. To every finalist in the room, congratulations. To every family member in the room, every colleague, every support person, hats off. Thank you for everything you do, the incredible passion and hard work with which you serve your students every day. To our honored guests, thank you for being with us tonight. For everyone, please join us on the second floor. Uh, there is a reception to honor all of our fantastic awardees. I have it on good notice that the food is primo tonight so please enjoy it. The galleries are also open if you've not been in our museum please take a moment to check out the galleries to uh, browse the veranda outside there are some beautiful vistas for pictures and the view of our, our wonderful city. The galleries will remain open uh, until 9 p.m. and we will conclude the event at 9 p.m. Finalists please remain near the stage for some photos with uh, your district leadership and and the, the photographer will be nearby to capture any pictures you'd like to have. Thank you for being here and one last round of applause for all of our winners. <laughs>